Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Wednesday, September 21st. And now, here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. Dozens of hotel companies have considered merger and acquisition deals in recent years, but Marriott International CEO Anthony Capuano said it's unlikely his company will be involved in such a major transaction in the near future, reports Andrea Doyle, the senior editor for Skift Meetings. Capuano said in discussion with senior hospitality editor Sean O'Neill at Skift Global Forum on Tuesday that Marriott doesn't need to make an enormous deal just for the sake of growth, describing such transactions as damn hard. Marriott already, the world's largest hotel company, acquired Starwood Hotels and Resorts worldwide in a complicated $13.6 billion deal in 2016. However, Marriott has entered into a partnership with famed hotelier Ian Schrager to open the Tampa Edition, the first five-star hotel in the Florida city. Next, blended business and leisure trips that became more popular during the pandemic are driving revenue growth at American Airlines, reports Edward Russell, editor of Skift brand Airline Weekly. American Chief Commercial Officer Vasu Raja said in discussion with Skift founder and CEO Rafat Ali at Skift Global Forum on Tuesday that roughly half of the company's revenues now come from those blended trips. Raja added the pandemic unlocked the great merging of work, travel, and personal lives, a subject Skift has explored in the past year. Finally, employees have come to treasure the flexibility working from home provides them, but Barry Diller, chairman and senior executive of both Expedia Group and IAC, lashed out at the practice at Skift Global Forum on Tuesday, reports executive editor Dennis Shaw. Diller, in discussion with editor-in-chief Tom Lowry, described working from home as kind of stupid and a crock. He added that he doesn't believe much innovation comes from sitting at a laptop in a dining room. However, Diller said he was warned his companies would lose a lot of workers if they were required to head to the office five days a week. Meanwhile, Diller expressed confidence that corporate travel would rebound substantially, citing the need for business to send staff out to meet clients. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skip.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skiff Daily newsletter at skiff.com daily. Spoken Layer. Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.